Okay, I think it would be beneficial to put some, um, give us some values for when we're drawing this, the, the graph of this. Apart from for this one here. Um, so it says f of x equals 4 and y equals f of x. So that means that the, this is the equation of uh, the graph of y equals 4 for this bit here. So anywhere up to negative 2, we're looking for a horizontal line. That's there. So it's up to that. Um, it's there, isn't it? So we're looking for that that horizontal line there. That's the first bit. Now we're looking for x squared in between these two values. So if we work some of them out, if we have x as negative two, negative one. 0, 1, and 2, and then we do x squared, and a little table here, x squared is 4, it's 1, it's 0, it's 1, and it's 4. So plot these coordinates, negative 2, 4, well that's that point there, negative 1, 1, that's that point there, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 4. So we get this little curve in between those two points. And now we've got 12 take away 4x. So we're going to do some values for this. Now we only need the values that we can see. So we're going to go uh, x is 2, 3, or 4. And then 12 take away 4x. Well, 12 take away 4 lots of 2, 4 lots of 2 is 8, so that's going to be 4. 12 take away 4 lots of 3, that's going to be 12 take away 12, 0. 12 take away 4 lots of 4, that's 12 take away 16, that's negative 4. So our co coordinates are 2, 4, that's that one there. 3, 0, that one there. And 4, um, negative 4, that is right there. So it's going to be this line down here. Now bear in mind that each bit joined onto the next one. I've seen a couple of these graphs and they always seem to join up. I'm not sure if that's always going to be the, be, be the case, but I assume it will be since this is meant to be one function with values between those, those two points. Use your graph to write down how many solutions there are for, to fx equals 3. Now it does say up here y equals f of x so really when we're saying, saying that we can also say um, y equals 3 that's what that means. So y equals 3 uh, you might recognize as a line um, so if I draw in the um, the line y equals, y equals 3 it's there. Now, how many solutions to that there are? There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. So there are three solutions. Solve f of x is uh, negative 10. So we're looking for uh, the y value being negative 10. So again, if f of x is negative 10, y equals negative 10. Now, if I was to draw a line like I did for this one, then it would go through negative 10 rather than going through 3. Now, that clearly isn't going to hit that line there, that horizontal line. This, the lowest value, is 0. So the only point that it's going to touch this line down here somewhere is going to be this line here. So basically, what we're looking for is... Uh, when um, the y coordinate is negative 10 for this function here. So remember this function is given by 12 take away 4x. So we plotted y equals 12 take away 4x. Now if we know that the y coordinate is negative 10, that means negative 10 equals 12 take away 4x. So if we solve this, take away 12 from both sides, that's negative 22 equals negative 4x. And divide by negative 4, um, 
22 divided by negative 4 is uh, 5.5. So the solution is x is 5.5.